Welcome everyone, it's Grayshirt sure Guy, Rock the Grayshirt sure, as always. Look at all of this black bars around me. Oh, well that's because I film my unboxing videos in 4K, and however, this little interlude I'm filming on my webcam, and this is just regular 1080p. So yeah, that's all the extra pixels that 4K takes up. What? All right, anyway, so the reason why I put this little preview in front of the video is that I incorrectly said in the beginning of the video that Fate Reforged was the first set in the cons block, which is wrong. No, it's not. Cons of Tarkir is the first set in the cons block. Uh, I did some research, and about six, seven minutes into the video, you'll realize me going, this doesn't seem right. And, uh, I, yeah, I identified my mistake, but I figured not a lot of people watch all the way through the video, and some people will go right at the beginning going, this isn't the first uh, block in the cons set, and they'll instantly stop watching, or they'll leave some sort of weird comment, so... I decided to start the video by saying I made a mistake, and uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the video, and maybe I got some good pulls. We'll find out. Thank you. Welcome everyone. It's Gray Shirt Guy rocking the Gray Shirt as always. So we got ourselves a box of Fair Forge, the beginning of the cons block, and uh, after that we've got uh, following week we'll do uh, cons of Tarkir, then dragons of Tarkir. After that, we're going to go do the Battle for Zendikar block. So we got a box of Battle for Zendikar and a box of Oath of the Gatewatch. And then uh, that'll round up. We'll have completed one booster box from Return of Ravnica to the present. Uh, at least one of each. So, yeah. Um, I mean, the only card in this set that I'm really kind of, like, looking at is Ugin the Spirit Dragon because he's kind of cool. Um, and he's worth 34 bucks as of right now. But I'm, other than that, there's nothing, anything specific. I wasn't playing in the cons block. Um, and who knows? I might find some interesting cards that I can use in some of my other decks. Uh, I know a lot of people normally consider uh, Fate or Force to not be a value set, not worth it. And I got these for I got these at uh, from Rudy over Alpha Investments. Uh, not a sponsored video at all. Um, just it's where I got them from. All right. We're pretty much just going to go over the rares, mythics, and foil, or the uncommons, rares, mythics, and foils uh, in the set. Uh, so uh, let's go on. Hopefully, these open a ah, uh, uh, little bit, little bit easier pack. Uh, something weird. These cards are a little sticky. They're just a little rougher. Um, I mean, I'm. I'm definitely going to, when I sort these cards, which I do uh, later by myself, uh, or obviously by myself, when I sort these cards later and I, I, I read them while I'm, I read the comments while I'm sorting them, so I might find something interesting. Let me zoom in just a smidge. All right, so we got uh, Teamer Sabertooth. That's what I'm going to say Teamer for that. Mind Scour Dragon, Neutralizing Blast, and Wild Call, uh, and a Windscarred Crag, and a token, or just a little thing. So, Wild Call. Sorcery, manifest the top card of your library, then put X plus one plus one counters on onto it. All right, so it's two green and an X. Uh, to manifest a card, you put it on the battlefield face down for two, two. Turn it face up anytime for its mana cost if it's a creature card. Interesting. So, so you just take the top card of your library and put X plus one plus one counters on it. Um, I'm assuming you can you can check to see what it is. Interesting. I wonder what the ruling on that is. It's kind of interesting. I think this whole set is kind of like a Mongolian style feel. Um, with a bunch of tribes. We got Renowned Weaponsmith. Uh, Abzan Beastmaster. Wandering Champion. And Master of the Unseen. In a uh, Tranquil Grove. Oh, so that's where Tranquil Grove comes from. I had, Tranquil Grove was in one of the uh, dual decks I played. Uh, so Master of the Unseen, Enchantments. Let me see what you guys are reading. Okay, cool. Uh, whenever a permanent you control is turned face up, you gain one life for each creature you control. Okay. Uh, and then four, manifest the top card of your library, put it on the battlefield face down as a 2-2 two -two creature. Okay. So. So, all right. So this is all about that. You know what? They should have called that Manifest Destiny. There probably is a card called Manifest Destiny. I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about this set. So far, so strange. I have opened a few of these cards before. I have some. I've opened a pack or two of this, but didn't really understand anything, so I wasn't too too worried about. It. So, Winds of the Qualshish Sisma. 
Elite Scale Guard, Break Through the Line, and Mob Rule. All right, Mob Rule. Uh, oh, no, just a dismal backwater. Okay, so Mob Rule, Sorcery, six mana, choose one, gain control of all creatures with power four or greater until end of turn. Untap those creatures, you they gain haste until end of turn. All right, that's cool. Zoom in it. Okay. Uh, gain control of all creatures with power three or less until end of turn, and they gain haste. Okay. Interesting. Hey, you know all those creatures you have over there? Uh, I'm going to take them all. La, 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 la. All right, so we got a Misfire Adept, Fruit of the, of the First Tree, a Valorous Stance, and a Dragon Scale General. It's definitely a Mongolian vibe going on here. Creature, Human Warrior. At the beginning of your end step, Bolster X, where X is the number of tap creatures you control. Choose a creature with the least toughness among creatures you control and put X plus one plus one counters on it. Oh. Bolster X, where X is the number of tapped creatures you control. Dragon Seek War, I bring it to them. Interesting. Okay. Bolster. Interesting mechanic. Never, never heard of Bolster before. I mean, I've, I've heard of it, but I've never seen a card with Bolster. So, oh, we got a foil. We got a Rage Form, Teamer Sabertooth, Cloud Form, and another Master of the Unseen. Well, that's boring. So this is a, so this sets 185 cards. Interesting. And a Foil Planes. Still, for some weird reason, this set does not seem like. This set does not seem like the first set. Where? Oh, pause this. So I just realized something, so this is going to make me feel really dumb. This, Fate Forge, is not, which makes a whole bunch of sense. Fate Forge is the uh, is the middle set in the cons block. I don't know why. I was uh, So I looked, at, I looked at one website, and it showed this as the first set. And I was looking at, like, the number of cards in the set, and I'm like, 185? That doesn't sound right for a first set in a block. And I was like, why do they call it the con set if Fate Forge is the first card? Definitely wrong. Kazatark here is the first block. So the videos will come out in order of the set. Uh, and this one's going to start weird. People are going to be like, wait, what? So, yeah. Apologies. This is definitely the middle set in the block. I feel so dumb right now. Did not do my research, apparently. Really dumb at this. But let's keep going. See if we get anything cool. Ba -bum. Wild Slash, Sage's Reverie, R Reverie, yeah. Battle Brawler, Shaman of the Great Hunt, Orc Shaman, anything, okay. Just a morph token and some land. Uh, orc, oh, 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 man. I'm out of frame, too. So, Creature Orc Shaman, Haste, whenever a creature you control deals, oh, it's a mythic, okay. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. All right. Ferocious, so for, for this four mana... Uh, draw a card for each creature you control with power four or greater. All right. That's cool. Let's go to my mythic pile. First mythic of the box. Got a foil and a mythic. I couldn't put that in my commander deck because it's got blue as an affinity color. I don't have blue in my commander deck. Hungering Yeti. Goblin Boom Keg. Ugin's Construct. And... Suyun, the Silent Tempest. All right. Legendary creature, human monk, prowess. Uh, so whenever you cast, you get plus one, plus one. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, you may pay red, white, red, white. If you do, target creature gains double strike until end of turn. All right. That's not bad. Eh. Brr. Boom. Ooh, we get a foil in here. What's the foil going to be? Fearsome Awakening, Noxus Dragon, Honor's Reward, and an Arc, uh, arc Bond. So what's Arc Bond? Instant. Choose target creature. Whenever that creature is dealt damage this turn, it deals that much damage to each other creature and player. Okay. And a foil Defiant Ogre. Burr, burr, burr. All right. Ah. 
Ah. Oh, come on, Pax. Try for the bottom. Oh, these packs here is just opening really weird. Spread them. Ah. Wandering Champion. Uh, Jeskai's Barricade, Vault Breaker, and Scroll of the Masters. What the hell is that? Artifact. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, put a lore counter and scroll the masters. Three tap. Target creature you control gets plus one, plus one until end of turn for each lore counter on scroll of masters. Okay. So far, not bad. Not great. Not bad. Bum, bum, bum. Shifting loyalties. Uh, channel harm. Marang River Prowler. Flame Rush Rider, I think I have this because it was like one of the few packs of this I've opened before. Creature, Human Warrior, when Flame Rush Rider attacks, put a token on the battlefield tapped and attacking. That's a copy of another of another target attacking creature. Exile token at the end of combat. Dash, you may cast this spell for its dash cost. If you do, it gains haste and is returned to the battlefield to its owner's hand at the beginning of the next end step. Okay, so for you can pay it four instead of six. And a Foil Neutralizing Blast, counter target multicolored spell. That's very... I don't know when you would... Yeah. Why is that not common? Yeah, that's instance for two. But you gotta, like, know your opponent's playing multicolor spells. Toy Boy Rats! What? Get out of the pack. These packs are fighting with me every, every single time. Wild Slash. Noxious Dragon. Fascination. And Frontier Siege. Boom. Ooh, warrior token. Okay. Enchantments for four mana. As frontier students on the battlefield, choose cons or dragons. Cons, at the beginning of each of your main phase, add two mana to your mana pool. Dragons, whenever a creature with flying enters the battlefield under your control, uh, you may have it fight target creature you don't control. Okay. All right. That's pretty decent. All right. First third of the box done. Uh, Goblin Boom K or Boom, yeah, Boom Keg. Um, Quarcy. Yeah, Quarcy High Priest? Battlefront Krushok. And, <laughs> oh my god, I hate this card. <laughs> oh, oh my god, I hate this card. Uh, okay. Anyways, it's, it's Atakar, World Render. It's pretty good dragon, legendary dragon, flying trample, whenever the dragon two control attacks against double strike on turn. So, um, they they sell these uh, packs that have a promo of this in it, and so I have one or two of these in promo. And I opened uh, a Fate Reforge pack, and he was in the Fate Reforge pack that I had the promo. So I got like two of these in the same day. Uh, I was like, I don't I don't want another one of these ever, but I got another one. It's so okay. That's so many. One of my friends is like, uh, he's bought so many of those uh, three packs that have the promo dragon. He's like, oh, I could just make a wall of dragons. Like, he literally just wallpapers wall of dragons. That's what he told me. Uh, Mardu Woe Reaper. Oh, come on. Battlefront Krushak. Marang River Prowler. Anna. What is it? Dromaka. Dromaka the Eternal. I think this is in the dragon deck, the commander dragon deck that I just got. Legendary creature dragon flying whenever a dragon you control attacks. Bolster too. Oh, all right. Not bad, not bad. So is the theme like just dragons are fighting tribal people? It's kind of what a, kind of the theme I'm getting from this. Frostwalker, Mardu Shadow Spear, Dark Deal, and Temer War Shaman or Temer War Shaman. Temer, Temer. Uh, human Shaman. One Temer War Shaman enters the battlefield. Manifest top card of your library. When a permanent you control is turned face up, if it's a creature, you may have it fight target creature you don't control. So maybe you don't get to choose. Like you don't get to look at the card? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know how that manifest works. Right. Open. 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 
Huge Stone Retainer, uh, Abzan Kinguard, Shifting Loyalties, Ghastly Conscription. Yeah, yeah, Ghastly Conscription. Okay. Sorcery, exile all creature cards from target player's graveyard in a face down pile. Shuffle that pile, then manifest those cards. Oh, so you, do, you don't know which ones are creatures because you shuffled it. Okay, and a foil map of the waste. That is pretty sweet. Yeah, a second mythic for the box. All right. It's not the planeswalker that I want. Light form. Shockmaw dragon. Channel harm. And brutal horde chief. Orc warrior. All right. Mythic orc warrior. When a creature you control attacks, defending player loses one life and you gain one life. All right. Uh, pay five. Creature your opponent controls block this turn if able. And you choose how those creatures block. Nice. 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 Little horde chief. Very nice. All right. Ward scale dragon. Oh. Humble defector. Reality shift. Warden of the first tree. I think I also have this. Interesting. I'm pulling cards I already have. Um, or maybe I've, maybe I've seen this one. So... Uh, for human, for one mana, so for two, War of the Tree becomes a human warrior with base power toughness three. Uh, for four, becomes a, uh, is a warrior, becomes a human spirit warrior with trample and lifelink. And for six, if it was the first tree, um, is a spirit, put a five plus one plus one counter on it. Okay. So she's basically just ramping them up. It becomes a, a spirit. <clears throat> a trample my like and a bunch of counters. Do 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 do. Quarzai High Priest, Sudden Reclamation, Winds of Qual Sima, and Yosava Dragon Claw. We got a lot of foils in here. Legendary creature, human warrior, trample at the beginning of your combat on your turn. You may pay one and two blue or red. If you do gain control of target creature on opponent controls with power less than it. Then it's power until end of turn. Untap the creature and greens. Haste until end of turn. And a foil. Ooh. What is this? I think this is on the list of having like a couple bucks. Um, so legendary creature, human shaman, Tesmer, the golden fang. Delve each card you exile from the graveyard while casting the spell pays for one colorless. Um, oh, okay. Uh, so for four mana, put the top two cards of your library into your graveyard. Then return a non-land card of an opponent's choice from your graveyard to your hand. Okay. Interesting. I got it in foil. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Ugh. Ugh. Boom. Let's see where we're going. What do we got left? Just over halfway through the box. Right of Undoing. Pilgrim of the Fires, Mardu Shadow Spear, and holy crap, a non foil of the Tazmagor, the Golden Fang. Nice. How much is this card? Let me, let me just check it real quick because it was definitely on the list. Uh, it's three bucks non foil, so I don't know, maybe like six bucks foil. All right, it's cool. Oh, that's a, why is my, why is a rare moment to call. Not bad, not bad. There's definitely no Ooga and the Spirit Dragon. I feel so dumb thinking this is the first box. I should have done more research. It seems so weird to me. Friendly Fire, Pyrotechnics, Lotus Eye Mystic, and a Flame and a Flame Wake Phoenix. Creature Phoenix, Flying Haste. When it uh, attacks each turn is able, Ferocious at the beginning of combat on your turn. If you control a creature with power four or greater, you may pay one red. If you do, return Flame Wake Phoenix from the graveyard to the battlefield. All right. Okay. Cool. It rises from the ashes and attacks the enemy. Hmm, 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 Frostwalker, Dragon Rage, Ward Scale Dragon. There we got Alicia who smiles at death. Legendary creature human warrior, first strike. When Alicia who smiles at death attacks, you may pay 
white or red or white or black. If you do, return target creature card with power two or less from your game guard to the battlefield, tapping and attacking. Greet death. Greet death with sword in hand. Hmm. No, it's a rare, not a mythic. Is this a mythic or is this a rare? Oh, come on. Open. Open. Making a second common stack. Fearsome Awakening. Uh, cash. Cash defenses. Hungering Yeti. And who is this? Dog Hata, the Adamant. Legendary Creature Human Warrior Vigilance. There's the battlefield with four plus one plus one counters. Okay. Uh, move a plus one plus one counter to target creature from target creature onto a second target creature. Okay. Not bad. Move some counters around. Who's a zero zero? Move those counters around. Could be useful. Hero's Blade. Light form. Merciless Executioner. And a Citadel Siege. An enchantment. As Citadel Siege enters the battlefield, choose cons or dragons. Cons, at the beginning of your combat on your turn, put two plus one plus one counters on target creatures you control. Not bad. Dragon, at the beginning of combat on each opponent's turn, tat target creatures that player controls. So only one of them? Okay. Yeah. All right. You will not block me with that creature. I will tap it. La, 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 la. Friendly Fire, Sibit, Sibsig, Muck Dragger. Okay. Sage's Reveille and Shamanic Revelation. Sorcery, draw a card for each creature you control. Ferocious, pay four life for each creature you control. Oh, you gain four life for each creature you control with power four or greater. Okay. Uh, one third box left. We're gonna get an Uganer in there. We're gonna get that that sweet planeswalker. That'd be cool. Orc sure shots. Grave strength. Pilgrim of the fire and a sand sand step mastodon. Okay. Um. Creature Elephant Reach. When it enters the battlefield, bolster five. All right. Okay. Hey man, you wanna you wanna just add five plus one plus one counters to your weakest creature? Boom. Here's a bunch of plus one plus one counters. Out. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Uh, fascination. Rage form. Merciless Executioner, and a Monastery Siege. I think this is also in the Commander Dragon deck. Uh, at the, as I enter the battlefield, choose Cons or Dragons. At the beginning of your draw step, draw an additional card, then discard a card. Okay. Or Dragons, spells your opponent's cast that target you or permanent you control cost two more to cast. I think I've seen that played. Uh, one of my friends just used Dragon. He's like, yep. Everything costs more, more than more to target me. I was like, okay. Cash defenses again. Lotus Eye Mystic, Ruthless Instincts, and ooh, Temporal Trespass Mythic. All right, okay. I think this is also on the list. Let's see my little tablet here. It's two dollars. Two dollar Mythic. Delve. Okay, so that's nice. Take an extra turn after this one. Exile Temporal Trespass. Oh, okay. Cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ashani War Beast, Dragon Rage, Bloodfire Enforcers, and another Flame Rush Rider. Boring. I want something else. I don't want duplicates. Well, with a small set, you might get the Uh, Take them off. Here we go. More blood fire enforcers. Grave strength. Mind scour dragon and sage eye avenger. Uh, Jin monk. 
Um, interesting. Prowess. When it attacks, you may return target creature to its owner's hand if its power is less than the Sage Eye Avenger's power. Okay. Cool. You take this puny little creature away from me. Come on. I'm trying to slip it out of there. I'm trying to take, take that card skirt off. All right. Kind of looks like it. Oh, it is an orc. I was like, oh, it's a good orc. Uh, Battle Brawler, Ashani War Beast, Abzan Beastmaster, and <laughs> Silugar, the Drifting Death, which is also in the uh, command in the Dragon deck. Legendary Creature Dragon, Flying Hexproof. When a dragon you control attacks, creature, creature's defending player control gets minus one, minus one until I'm turn. Is that every single dragon or just a dragon? Is it per dragon attacking? I'm not sure. Got a couple facts left. Are we going to get lucky? I don't know. Wandering Champion, Fruit of the First Tree, Ugin's Construct, and Soul Flare. Soul Flare. This thing looks weird. It's a demon. Definitely looks like a demon to me. Delve. All right, cool. Uh, if a creature card with flying was exiled with Soul Flare's Delve ability, Soul Flare has flying. Holy crap. Damn. That is beastly. So if you got a bunch of bunch of creatures with these kind of uh, abilities uh, in your graveyard and you exile them for the four mana cost, so you exile four of them, so you drop for two, he's a demon, four, four, with whatever. So flying, lifelink, reach, trample. That's pretty terrifying. That's pretty cool. I have heard of Delve, like Delve decks, but I've never, I didn't know what Delve was. And now I know. Pretty sweet. Uh, Diplomacy of the Waste. Destructor's Dragon. Just Guys uh, bar Barricade. And Palace Siege. Palace Siege. What is Palace Siege? Just Palace Siege and Battlefield. True Cons or Dragons. Cons. At the beginning of your upkeep, return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Okay. Or Dragons. At the beginning of your upkeep, each opponent loses two life and you gain two life. Nice. Not bad. All right. There was a foil in here. A foil. Oh no! My uncommons ended up in my common stack. What? Reality shift. Sudden reclamation. Honor's reward. Crucible of the spirit dragon. Um, and what's behind it? Uh, just a foil, dismal backwater. And a, and a blood fell caves. So we got a foil dual land and a regular common dual land. Okay. Crucible Spirit Dragon. Tap to add one colorless. Or pay one colorless tap. Put a storage counter on it. Okay. Tap remove X storage counters from it. It's add X mana of any combination of colors to your mana pool. Spend this mana ability only to cast dragon spells or activate abilities of dragons. All right. Okay. Very dragon centric card. I wonder if I wonder if that's in the 2017 Dragon deck. It might be. I don't. I don't know. I didn't look at every single card in the deck. I have them all. Ooh, another four. Oh, wait, wait. Is it? Is it? Oh, no, that's not what I thought it was. I was like, yo, what? That would have been so fucking awesome. Uh, right of the Undoing, Cloud Form, Dis Diplomacy of the Waste, and a Crux of Fates. Um, yeah, choose one, destroy all dragon creatures. Choose one, destroy all non-dragon creatures. That's pretty sweet. And a foil, Pilgrim of the Fires. Pilgrim of the Fires. Uh, Crux of Fate's pretty interesting. All right, two packs left. All right, let's see if we're going to get something good. <clears throat> um, Destructor Dragon. Pyrotechnics. Humble Defector. And a Mardu Strike Leader. Definitely sweet foils hiding the back there. Human Warrior. Uh, whenever Mardu Strike Leader uh, attacks, put a two-one Black Warrior creature token on the battlefield. Dash three. You may pass this. You may pay its dash cost, but then it comes back, and, and so it just basically phases out. Comes or phases back to your hand at the end turn. All right, not bad. Cool. One pack left. What are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? I mean, we got a bunch of mythics in the in the box, so oh, not too bad. Oh no! Oh, look at that bad crimping on that 
on that comment. That's sad. That's so sad. Well, at least the rest pack's not affected. Um, break through the line. Renowned Weaponsmith. Uh, Absan Beastmaster. And... Oh, no foils. Okay. Uh, an Oj Ojutai Soul of Winter. So it's a dragon. Legendary Creature Dragon. Flying Vigilance. Whenever a dragon you control attacks... Tap target non-land permanent your opponent controls. That permanent does not untap during its next untap step. All right. Cool. All right. Let's go over the uh, what we got in the box. Those last. All right. Cool. Let's start with. So this. Let uh, me go over the foils. We got Pilgrim of the Fires. Dismal Backwater. Tismager the Golden Fang. Map the Waste. Neutralizing Blast, Defiant Ogre, a Foil Plains. So we got a Johnny Soul of Winter, Mardu Strike Leader, Crux of Fate, Crucible the Spirit Dragon, Palace Siege, Soul Flare. This is pretty scary. Uh, so we got the Drifting Death, Sage Eyed Avengers, a Flame. Uh, we got two of the Flame Rush Riders, Monastery Siege, Sand Steep Mastodon, Shamanist Revelation, Citadel Siege. Uh, Dag Hata the Adamant, Alicia who smiles at death, Flame Wake Phoenix, Yasava Dragon Claw, uh, Non Foil Tesmagur the Golden Fang, Temer War Shaman, Teamer War Shaman, Drumaka the Eternal, <laughs> Adakar World Render, Frontier Siege, the Second Flame Rush, uh, Master Scroll of the Masters, Arcbounds, Shuyan the Silent Temist, Master Mastery of the Unseen, Dragon Skill General, Mob Rule, another Mastery of the Unseen, Wild Call, and for our Mythics we got Temple Trespass, which is pretty nice, Warden of the First Tree, Brutal Horde Chief, Ghastly Conscription, which is pretty pretty scary, and Shaman of the Great Hunts. All right, thank you all for joining me for this box of Fate Reforged, and uh, I apologize once more for thinking that this was the first block. Uh, first set in the cons block um, but this will this video will appear in the proper order uh, and I'm gonna have to probably put a disclaimer on the front of the video uh, so yeah thank you uh, hope you guys have a great day and see you next week goodbye